Hello Thank You Online. This is the Red Baron Killer and I'm here to show you the best of guides for twins. Twins is the most feared weapon. Though it is the costliest gun among all the guns in Tanky, it is worth every crystal you pay. Its damage ranges from 6 to 18 HP per shot. It has the highest number of shots per minute and you get like 3 shots per second. A tanker doesn't need to worry about reload while playing with twins. Its turn speed is also high. The only thing about twins that is not good is its range, but I'll show you what to do in bigger maps like Kungu. First let's see a few tips of using twins. The shots of twins bend towards the target horizontally, so you can easily take out targets above and below you. You need not lean back or forth to hit them. The recoil of twins can be used to get back your friends on tracks or put enemies off their tracks. But you cannot come back on your own tracks, so it's a waste of trying. Another use of twins recoil is that you can climb up the stairs in Iran easily. When you, when you jump normally, you fall upside down. But with twins, you land exactly as you want to. In large maps like Kungu, the best thing you can do is stay in your base and protect your flag. Now let's see how to tackle other guns with twins. Rico is the rival of twins. The idea is to stay perpendicular to the tank and shoot till it's upside down. The best thing for railgun is to fool it. Then you can go and hit him from any side. Shoot at corners to make him miss. For thunder, you need to move back and forth. As his turn speed is slow, he cannot hit you, but you can finish him. You can use the same principle for Smokey, but most of Smokey users have Mammoth. You need to constantly hit him and wait till he dies. For shaft, you need to be fast. You need to hide between buildings. You need to get close to him. And when you reach him, keep moving so that he will be busy rotating his turret. For close range weapons like firebird and freeze, you need to move back and forth the recoil of your shots will stop them from coming in range. You can do the same for Isida, but there is another way. As Isida's health regains by hitting you, you need to find a place where it can't reach you, and then hit him till he dies. Now let's see a little gameplay. Always use your drugs wisely. When you are on drugs, never stop moving. You need to move constantly so that enemies miss you but you don't miss them. Always protect your flag. Use your health wisely and also use bonus drops so that you can benefit from them. Last but not the least, the closer you are to your enemy, the more damage you cause them. So, use this in close range map. Just one more thing for all those who fear the twins. You do not want this pointed at you.